What is phantom drain? And what are the best ways to reduce phantom drain on your Tesla? These two questions concern a lot of Tesla owners. So, today we have brought you a detailed information on phantom drain, why does it occur, and what are the ways to prevent it. Also, as a way to avoid any misinformation, we are not using any information outside of what Tesla officially states on their website or owner's manual. So let's get started. The hot topic of discussion in the Tesla community is the phantom drain. And you might be surprised to hear that the term phantom drain was developed by the Tesla community. There's no such word anywhere on the Tesla's website or owner's manual. So, what is phantom drain? Phantom drain is a term referring to energy loss while your car is parked. So if you park your Tesla and leave it, your battery is still going to lose energy. For example, let's say you left your Tesla at 70% battery and you check next day, it shows you 69 or 68% battery. So where did that 1 or 2% battery go? This power loss issue is called phantom drain. Now coming to what Tesla says about it, Tesla does not have any such term on their website or owner's manual. They just give advice on how to reduce that energy loss. But, to keep things simple, we will continue to refer to this loss as phantom drain. Although not the most reliable source, here's how Wikipedia defines phantom drain or at least some variations of the term. Standby power, also called a vampire power, vampire draw, phantom load, go slowed, or leaking electricity, refers to the way electric power is consumed by electric and electrical appliances while they are switched off or in standby mode. Now, Tesla is no stranger to this, and the severity of phantom drain depends on several factors, which we will go over in a bit, but we'll start with this information from the owner's manual. When left idle and unplugged, your vehicle periodically uses energy for battery system tests and recharging the 12-volt battery when necessary. This is Tesla's basic definition of phantom drain, or as they call it, discharge rate. They go on to say, the battery can discharge at a rate of approximately 1% per day, though the discharge rate may vary depending on environmental factors such as cold weather, vehicle configuration, and your selected settings on the touchscreen. So right off the bat, on average, every Tesla is expected to, at the very least, lose 1% of battery per day. They further say, situations can arise in which you must leave Model 3 or any Tesla unplugged for an extended period of time. For example, at the airport when traveling. In these situations, keep the 1% in mind to ensure that you leave the battery with a sufficient charge. For example, over a 14 days period, the battery may discharge by approximately 14%. This is one of the reasons why Tesla recommends keeping your car plugged in whenever possible to help reduce and even prevent phantom drain from occurring. Now, it's a well-known fact that the outside temperature can have impacts on the range and especially in cold weather when the battery will be less efficient. But one thing to keep in mind is it's not only when you're driving, but bad weather can even affect your car when it's parked. Tesla explains this as even if the vehicle is not being operated, the high voltage battery temperature is monitored and regulated to prolong its lifespan and performance. This is why you may notice the compressor running, even while parked. But, it's not just the outside temperature that can impact how much phantom drain you might see. In some cases, you may notice that consumption is higher. We recommend deactivating features, such as preconditioning, sentry mode, keep climate on, and any aftermarket equipment when not needed. Unfortunately, you lose out on any of the benefits from the features you turn off to help reduce phantom drain. For example, preconditioning helps heat the battery to an optimal temperature to give you better range while driving, especially in cold temperatures. However, this feature is best utilized when you're plugged in, otherwise it will use energy from the battery to precondition itself and heat the cabin. 
Now, when you have sentry mode turned on, the cameras and sensors remain powered on and ready to record suspicious activity whenever your Tesla is locked and in park. This will prevent the car from going into sleep mode and will give you higher than normal phantom drain. Now you can turn off sentry mode by touching the icon at the top of the screen or use voice commands. You can also turn it off remotely from the app. Now, keep climate on is a feature used to keep the temperature inside of the car comfortable while running errands. It will either keep the AC or heater on, depending on your needs. If you want to avoid higher than normal phantom drain, it's best not to use this feature. Now, there are variations of these features, which essentially do the same thing, like camp mode and dog mode. Although, we would regret not mentioning that it's not an option to not use dog mode if you need to leave your dog in the car. Now, if you happen to have Smart Summon, there is a feature called Come to Me upon opening the app. It allows you to press and hold it down, and your Tesla will come to you from parking spot. This is known as standby mode, and it helps reduce the time it takes to warm up, but if this mode is turned on, it will increase phantom drain. You can conserve battery energy by disabling standby mode at home, work, locations on your favorite lists, or disable all of them. By disabling it altogether, it will no longer be a reason for phantom drain. On a side note, Smart Summon automatically exits standby mode from midnight to 6 a.m. to help conserve energy. Now, it's important to note that most of these features require the battery to be at least 20% charged and, once it drops below that, they will be disabled on their own. Now, as far as aftermarket equipment is concerned, here's what Tesla has to say about it. Aftermarket equipment connected to the 12-volt system or third-party mobile applications, which collect data about your vehicle, can decrease range while parked and reduce the battery lifespan. Although this may be true with some third-party apps, but we know that Stats app does not contribute to your Tesla's phantom drain. This is also the case with Watch for Tesla, as long as you had it set to the proper settings. We can't speak for any other third-party apps, as we haven't tested any of the others. So, as we mentioned earlier, although Tesla doesn't technically use the word phantom drain, they still point out what will drain your battery while it's in park, and the severity of that drain depends on your own personal settings in the car, as we discussed earlier. So that is phantom drain, according to Tesla, or as they call it, battery discharge, along with a few other variations. Hopefully, this might have solved all your doubts on phantom drain. So, if you liked the video, then click on that like button, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, press that subscribe button too.